we're going to be discussing some tips on if you're looking to sell and buy and buy and sell a home to help you get through this process. So my first tip would be you can always put in a conditional upon seller property on the property you're looking to purchase. Conditional upon seller property condition just means that the offer on the property that you're looking to purchase is conditional upon your home selling. However, most sellers, sellers agents will put in a 48 hour escape clause. What does that mean? That means that if they get another offer on that property, you have 48 hours to firm up or else they can go with the other offer. It's not really ideal. And a lot of sellers don't really like conditional upon sale property conditions. Given the current market state, they won't want to get tied up with that. Another option is if you list your home for sale and let's say the buyer brings an offer and it's accepted, you can let the buyer know that their offer is conditional upon you finding a place within a month or within two weeks. Again, this might not be the greatest thing for the buyer. They may walk away, but if they really like the home, they may agree with it. It just all depends. Another tip that helped a few of my seller buyers is one of my sellers, their property was paid off. We simply pulled the funds from their property. We did a refinance with a mortgage agent and they were able to use those funds to purchase the other property. And then once their property sold, we were able to pay off that whole mortgage. And that way they weren't stressed out in limbo that if their house sells or looking to buy, how am I going to cover two if I can't get approved for the mortgage? That part was kind of figured out for them. Another option is if you're your property is not paid off and but you do have some equity you can still pull the money pull the funds from your current property use that has down payment on the other property yes there would be two mortgages but we can always check for rental rates in case your home does take a little bit longer to sell but you can rent it out for a year or you could do a three-month closing and within that time frame your property should sell usually reasons why properties don't sell are list price and presentation so if we get the list price right which is market value and the property looks great online and it's on the Toronto and Niagara board, there should be no reason why your property does not sell within the 60 days. So that's the last option. For more information on steps to take when selling and buying, please click subscribe below, message me below, and I also can email you my current seller's guide. Bye for now. This is Denise with Luxury Niagara Homes.